السلام علیکم ڈیر سٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم شاکر مجید فرام یو پی ایس تلواری اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول کنٹینیو وتھ ہسٹری آف کلاس ایٹ ان دا لاسٹ لیکچر آف دس چیپٹر وی ڈسکس اباؤٹ وومین کاسٹ اینڈ ریفارم اینڈ آلسو ڈسکس اباؤٹ ورکنگ ٹوڈس چینج ناؤ ٹوڈے وی ہیو ٹو ڈسکس اے ٹاپک دیٹ از چینجنگ دا لائفز آف ویڈوز Dear students, uh, the, the thing which had a major uh, effect uh, on Raja um, Raham Moon Rai was a um, bad uh, condition uh, of widows in India. So he uh, began a, a campaign against the um, practice of sati. Dear students, Raja um, Raham Moon Rai was a learned, uh, learned man. who knew uh, many languages such as Sanskrit, uh, Persian and uh, several other uh, foreign languages. He tried to uh, prove that there was no evi- evidence uh, of Sati system in the ancient texts. By the early 19th century, as uh, Britishers uh, began to criticize the Indian uh, tradi- traditions, they banned Sati uh, system in the year of 1829. because uh, of the um, attempts uh, made by Raja Ram Mohan Rai. Later on, uh, many other uh, reformers followed in the um, footsteps of uh, Raja Ram Mohan Rai and uh, started using various phrases uh, from the early texts to prove that most of the traditions which were being followed by the Indians uh, were against the early traditions. For example, um, Ishwar, uh, Ishwar Chandra uh, Vidya Sagar used the uh, ancient texts which supported uh, remarriage of a uh, uh, widow. Dear students, due, uh, due to these uh, suggestions, um, Britishers uh, passed the uh, act of widow remarriage in the year of uh, 1856. In the north, uh, Swami Dayanand uh, Saraswati, who founded um, the reform called Arya Samaj in 1875, he also supported uh, widow remarriage. Dear students, Swami Dayanand Saraswati, uh, um, was an uh, Indian f- uh, philosopher, uh, social uh, leader and uh, f- found uh, of the Arya Samaj. He was the first to uh, give uh, the call for uh, Swaraj um, as India for Indians in 1876. He was born in, uh, in 12 February uh, 1824 and was died in thir- 30 October. Tumba 1883 at the age of 59 years. During the second half of the 19th century, a new idea uh, of education uh, girls came up. Um, this led to, uh, to the um, beginning of girls' education in our uh, country. Uh, so next topic is girls begins uh, going to school. Dear students, with the uh, efforts of many ref- uh, reform, uh, reformers, girls' schools were uh, set up in, uh, in various parts of, the, uh, of India. For example, uh, Vidya Sagar started a school in Kolkata. Many others uh, set up a school in Bombay. Also, uh, when, uh, also Uh, when the uh, first school were opened, people uh, feared uh, sending their girls to these uh, schools as uh, they thought this would uh, take girls away from, away from home and uh, would uh, prevent, from, uh, pre- prevent them uh, from doing uh, the domestic duties. After that, many girls' uh, s- uh, schools were started, uh, uh, like one was established in uh, Punjab uh, by the Arya Samaj and other uh, Maharashtra by Jyoti Rai Phule. Even in the many uh, noble uh, Muslim uh, householders in North India, women uh, were taught to read uh, the Quran in Arabic. They were taught by women uh, who went to uh, teach uh, at their homes. 
some of uh, the reformers uh, were uh, Mumtaz Ali. Later on, uh, many women uh, who got the chance of get educated started writing about uh, about uh, the ill uh, condition con condition condition of uh, women in India. Let's now discuss about this. Women write about women. My dear students, in the early 20th century, Muslim women like uh, like uh, the Begums of Bhopal played a crucial role in promoting girls' education. The found of a primary school for girls in Aligarh. A woman named uh, uh, Rukaya Skawat Hussain started a school in Patna and Kolkata for uh, Muslim girls. In 1880, uh, Indian women started entering uh, universities. Some of uh, them become doctors, some become teachers. Many women began to write, uh, uh, write uh, and publish their uh, view, views on the um, discrimination that uh, women uh, were facing uh, in the society. In the 20th century, leaders such as uh, Jawaharlal uh, uh, Nehru and uh, Subhas Chandra Bose also supported the um, demands, uh, demands of equality and freedom uh, for, uh, for women. My dear students, in, in 1929, an act was passed which let down um, that uh, no, um, no man below of age, uh, age uh, 18 uh, and uh, age 18 uh, and, and uh, no woman below uh, the age of 16 could marry. Finally, uh, these limits were raised to 21 for men and uh, 18 for women. So uh, now that uh, we know about the reforms which were uh, initiated uh, for women. Dear students, now uh, in the coming uh, topics, we, uh, we will discuss about another major issue that was uh, present in our uh, society. It was the uh, cost system. Uh, I hope you will uh, stay connected with me. Uh, thank you. Uh, we will meet in the next lecture.